this is my new project, my Walter Type 17B. Because uh, with the V80 I didn't have the time to do this, so I showed you guys how it works. I've got this book in PDF file, and you start with, of course, the drawings. And this drawing with the ribs, as you can see, and the distances you need, flat holes, the rear part, which I still have to build, so with all the technical features. The trick is, uh, I've got also this book in PDF file, electronic way, so I went to the guys on the copy shop nearby and have uh, them enlarged the drawing. So this is the start. There's lots of pictures inside the book. Nice reference material. So you can see how it's be done and how it's working about the torques, everything. The in internals. Oops. I've been a few steps ahead. I'll show you guys. There she is. The mold. The length is about uh, 1.5 meters. And uh, I already opened the mold yesterday and cleaned it up. But I think it's nice to see how it works. It's uh, almost the same method like uh, our famous B1 Bob use. And the principle is the same. You start with a plug, I'll show that later, and then you encase it in epoxy. That's the first stage, then you will release your mold. Second stage, and uh, after that uh, I can start with building me a, a nice hole. Just for the ease, I'll click the camera, static, so you can see what happens. Alright. This is 5 mm of layer, so thick enough. Uh, normally, uh, when I finish, I'll always trim the rim off and I put uh, center holes for the screws inside. Uh, you use that for when, uh, when you're finished so your insides. Uh, you want to rejoin the mold again and glue uh, both halves together with epoxy. And you can do it this way. So you know, uh, every time you close the mold, it will be perfectly in line. And I'll take it open for you. Normally, uh, it doesn't go through, but I did it yesterday with a hammer and chisel. So this is the plug inside. It left some paint inside the mold. I have to clean it out, but it was a thin layer. So, no troubles at all. And, that was the difficult part. And take it out. There we go. This. This is the plug. It went inside. And there you have it. Two holes. You can uh, wax it inside and then you can start laying up uh, the layers of cloth and epoxy in the inside which gives you uh, two halves and I have to cut it according to the rim over here and then I can rejoin the mold again so it's when the hole is inside and it's ready to be glued. It closed up online again with the screwing holes and that's it. So it's a, it's an easy job when you've done a, a couple of uh, modes before. So each time even I learning. So this is all the work and this is how far I am. And I thought it was nice to show how it works because with the V80 uh, you only saw the hole when it was fixed. And this was the pre-stage. It's so worth the creation. So, 
I'll see you next time.